Hello everybody and welcome back to The Witcher 3. So we are going through the sewers to find <coughs> out what happened to Cyrilla, the Alliance girlfriend. She's been beaten up, but she's still alive, according to Joachim here. Hear been hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon. It's now nurse. So let's go with some Necrophage oil here. Help! Help! What is he <laughs> screaming about? Got to beat this guy. Die, guy. Water hag. Easy dodge. Heavy attacks. Oh no! He's throwing shit at us. Turn up. Don't mind taking a couple of hits. Nice jump. So. Wonder if I can get shot by his arrows. Let's try our new Igni here. <laughs> oh. okay, let's try to get out of this hellhole. Doesn't take down the whole lot of damage, but... Try to stay out of this... Sure that this Igni works out that w well. But let's try to finish this guy. Now oh, we'll get the arrow to my back here. Lost it. I kill one, another takes its place. I yeah. know how you feel. Believe me. So we are bonding with now? this guy. Up. Yes, it's not far now. Priscilla. How's it look? Give it to me straight, no sugarcoating. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that concerns me. Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobritz. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. So, not sure who did this to her. We did find that Duke guy outside the... Uh the cabaret, when we talk with um, that guy, well, <laughs> Sultan, but I don't think it's him. Uh, I think it, it, it's two different uh, quests, and also this Joachim Take told us about uh, someone else that had the same kind of uh, uh, well, wounds, but also this is the place. Um, Come. Heart, the quicker we take care of this, the better. Heart removed. Why? Got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. Or Reverend Nathaniel Pastor. Very well. We seek the corpse of a dwarven wood harbor. Okay. Human. Wrong body <laughs> type. Let's uh, keep looking. I'm sure if I need a. Uh, with your senses to see that. Looks like Necrophage has got to this one. Okay. Let's get some alcohol. Always good for our good old potions. Here, yeah, perhaps. Looks like a dwarf. Calluses on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood. Not a bit. Start the autopsy. Where? Okay. <laughs> Genitals. Let's just start with the head. Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt. Like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes. And some grey dust. 
ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. Right. But uh, this didn't happen to... Priscilla? Not yet, anyways. Let's examine the mouth. Burns. Blisters. Just like Priscilla's. See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed. So thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. Yeah, but why? The wound is too small to bleed. And there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy. So the victim wouldn't die too soon. Okay. Sounds pretty strange. Let's examine his torso. I'm almost feeling sick. Here? Doing this. Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage, and a scar the length of his stomach. Well, they said you took the heart out, didn't you? Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. Yummy. An egg from an amphibian. A salamander? Scorched but intact. I attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. I'm afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So either Professor Cochran was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Mm -hmm. So they put a salamander egg inside the body and uh, kind of burn it. Strange. Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin. An incision. But the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Mm -hmm. Let's check the stomach. Open the abdominal cavity. Uh, due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a zoogle up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt... Wait. Smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than acid. Explains why there's no smell of decay, and why his throat's scalded. Right. I'm not sure I'm following these guys, but... Let's check out the hands, son. Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience? Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagore. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. Alright. And the legs? See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot. The ankle swollen. Toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard, right before he kicked the bucket. Doesn't strike me as the right time for jokes. Yeah, apologies, we surgeons, we've a different sensibility. Mm -hmm. And a different sense of humor. <laughs> okay, let's check out his genitals. His genitals, we ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. <laughs> we'll see. Pull down his trousers and... shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. Early stages. No sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. <laughs> okay. Well, I know enough. Alright. Seems... Think I know enough. Enlighten me, please. Because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. So do we trust this guy? So, I mean, a ritual murder sounds 
sounds like something, but hmm. it's some kind of sick ritual. You saw it. Burns in the eye sockets, cavity where the heart should be, scalding liquid, all centering on warmth, heat, fire. A fire eternal. It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy, but I see you've done it for me, Joachim. And as always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted, drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. Alright. So these guys doesn't seem eye to eye. You old friends. Hubert taught me the rudiments of medicine. Long ago. And not very well. You've still not mastered certain basic principles. For example, that a doctor's role is to treat the ill, not save the world. He You've seems not quite changed young. a bit. A compliment? No, a statement of fact. <laughs> Thirty years, and you've not changed a bit. Yeah, so... This guy has teach this guy everything about medicine. And they seem to be fighting. And I guess this guy has been quite nice to us. And this guy is a douchebag, so we have to, I guess, decide who we want to believe. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate of Far Corners. That poor Trebirance was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in, under any circumstances. You did, but they're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. What? As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. So, okay, I think we have three... Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own ass. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. But you didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. Hmm. Thank you. I like his lantern on his mantle. Nathaniel, who is he? A scoundrel, a rogue, like every man who wears the robes of the eternal fire. Most are scoundrels before they ever put on the robes. True in his case as well. Before he donned the frock, Nathaniel was a torturer. Delighted especially in torturing women. Later, Hierarch Hemelfart appointed him to oversee the morgue. He deals with the temple guard, supervises cremations, conducts funeral masses in the temple on the isle, and so forth. Hmm. Dream okay. job. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. So let's not press him. Don't aim to press you. Thank you. I've nothing to hide. It's just an old wound, unhealed as yet. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. Okay. How nice. So. Let's uh, pretty close this uh, first one here. Yeah. This is the alley. Bandits can't go out in the streets no more. 
At least before they didn't use to kill women. You, Eustace, the corpse collector? I? How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian. Uh, Fabian. Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no art. One of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. <laughs> One of them? So there have been other bodies like that? Sure have. Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. One went so portly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Oh, Slippery sow, they called her, on account of her. Some things are best left unsaid. What happened to the pieces? What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them burned. Every last one. Oh, shame that was. Shame? Why? Actually, never mind. Another thing that's best left unsaid. Okay. So, did you search him? You search Fabian's body? Well, I uh, cast an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off, mutant. Talk. What did you find on him? I, uh, I had you wish. Triflings, baubles, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum, quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner sill it as new. That's human skin. Ooh. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. What the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We short of wenches in this town. <laughs> well... Get out of my sight. Now! I mean, how should he have known that... That was the name of someone that would really get attacked? What happened here? Monsters must I used magic on him, so it's not like I'm... Uh, without any blame either. No bread, no coin, all is shite. So we should check out this place where he died. Um, how on earth do we get in? Help a poor bloke out. So, we in here. Let's try to follow these dots, but it's not that easy. Help! Save me! I'm dying! Mm. Oh, Anyone home? Be gone! Or I'll sit my hounds on you! Molly! Strega! Come! Relax. I'm here about Fabian Meyer. Looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Sit your stupid much lay down! Morning. Slowly now, let's stay by you. The huge door. Charming as beasts go. You daft. Even I'm scared of them. But better barking dog than an evil man at your door. Got someone particular in mind? Sure as shite. Bugger who did Fabian in. As soon as they'd hauled his corpse off, I ran to a mate who raised his fighting dogs. Bought these two mutts. Cost me a chunk of change. But asleep sound at least. Okay, so who are you? So who might you be? The Steph's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Hmm. What'll it be oh, come now? On. Just Meyer? Too Name soon. it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a bear for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Mm, all right. Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenfurt, and I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss him burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. 
See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Okay. Talk to your neighbors. They see anything suspicious beforehand, hear anything? Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. You know they could have folk give bleat orphans in the street a wide berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. What do they care about some dwarf? Hmm. So, do you have any enemies? Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? Nah. It was Fabian who threatened this one last. Oh, you were a good dwarf, a craftsman like no other. But you were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to following one in particular. He'd say, tis all your fault, dirty bitch, human dish rag, and other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her. <laughs> know where I can find her, this dish rag? City Cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Her pawn said a fever took her. Mm hmm. This didn't give us a whole lot. More than they burned this place down and some sculptures they were Fine. making. We've talked I enough. Guess. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just be aware of the dogs. What? Blood stains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Mm -hmm. Nice. Murderer mm, dragged something heavy. Dragged something across the floor. Statues. More dragged it from one wall to the other. Repeatedly. Seems like we could uh, interact with this as well. So what's this letter? Remember, good people, that fire can both be a blessing and a curse. Fire can warm with its flames. Fire can prepare our nourishments. Fire can drive off the horrors of the dark. Yet fire can also scourge, scorch, burn, incinerate. That is why we must live in harmony with eternal fire and its commandments. Whoever fails to heed its lesson, whoever lives in ignorance of it, whoever mocks it, the same shall lose his life in its flames. Take my counsel to heart, good people, or I will reap the consequences of your deeds. Concerned citizen, alright. So, it feels like this is some kind of ritual murder with the eternal fire. And these guys made some statues. I'm not sure if they mocked the eternal fire or if it was another. Mind if I go inside the workshop? Another uh, not even religion? Peaked inside since, since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. Right. This is so crazy. We were just going to help Dandelion with his cabaret. More blood stains, but not near enough to say he bled to death. Unless somebody got rid of the blood. Left a few stains behind. Is this is this ash? Oops. Yeah, nice trickery. Eyes. Humanoid. Eyes. Completely rotten. Yikes. Disgusting. Formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian used it. That was the thing that they used to <laughs> broken rake. To not have uh his body decompose, I think. Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. Nothing here. Mm. Okay, can we say anything to this guy? Hi. Had a look at your sculptures. What? Lifelike, aren't they? Mm -hmm. The women, especially. Never seen a bust that size on Melitale. Oh, I. Fabian's handiwork. I told him, brother, tits like that would crush her back. Whit them down. He said, nay, they'd sell better this way. Told me to shut me trap. I bet he's... And sell they did. <laughs> yeah. Till one sermon at the temple. 
and the celebrating reverend said that whoso buys idols from the non-human Myers sins twofold as a heretic and as a lecher. That was the end of that. Yeah, this seems more and more like uh, the tunnel of fire with since there are beggars that they attack. There is uh, these guys with the sculptures. I'm not sure how Priscilla fits the bill, but yeah. Already know what happened. Fabian was in the workshop. Murderer attacked him there. They struggled. Fabian was overpowered, then tortured for a time. I needn't know the details. Truth be told, I haven't the stomach for him. When it was over, Murderer <laughs> dragged Fabian to the courtyard, then made a pyre of sculptures, set them aflame. But why? Why do all that? To teach a lesson to him, you, the whole city. So Fine, we've talked enough. Won't learn anything else here. Take care. Show some appreciation here, please, Geralt. You're usually such a nice dude. Oops, sorry, doggy. Right. One last clue. Oi, Witcher! Coroner wants to see you. Been another victim. Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You're to come as soon as you can. Oh. Um, let's check this out first. Got a problem? Yeah. Hey, handsome. Hello. Some smelly smelly here. I know that smell. Formaldehyde. A brazier. This time of year. Man's footprint. The murderers, maybe. Wait on his heel. Took a step Robin! back. Sis. That him. How am I to know? Murderer Robin, fled he before the guards arrived. Ran this way. What is happening here? Oh, fighting. Peasants. They are not as good at fighting as those other guys I fought before. At him. Gotta get around him. Okay, Roach. Uh, like I said, it's always hard when you have to fight these all at the same time. That hard to to choose who to hit. Die, <laughs> die? Uh, not really. Why did she did she call these guys on us? That uh, you lady. Me too, uh? Up your ass, deviant! Holes can fight back. Uh. Calm down. I'm not gonna hurt you. What are you doing here? Getting vengeance. Well, why are you staring? Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome. For Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much. But I can tell you what I know. <laughs> okay. Well, you just send people at me. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up whoring. Pick up a decent trade. But none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see. Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, dream's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Wasn't that someone from Witcher 2? Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? 
Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. Right, so should we continue on checking this alley Take care or now. are we going to get to I gotta the look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally, we'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. Oh, the head's ringing. Yeah. Human. Priscilla's. Trail ends here. Strange. Even I couldn't jump this wall. Mm -hmm. It's a monster. Another one of these. Let's read about the town of fire here. A brazier. This time of year. A brazier. This time of year. So, let's talk to the coroner. We might uh, take a swallow here. No. Why is your hair so grey, darling? <laughs> Why is my hair so grey? Got my eye on you, white one. Give a copper. Now you. Jogging, jogging, jogging. Training some cardio here. That beggar is really sitting in the middle of the way. In this city. Racial hygiene as poor as their personal hygiene. Welcome, Master Witcher. Thank you. How nice. Hope he doesn't see me stealing all these goodies. Is this a new victim here? <sighs> yeah. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you, especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. So why did he became <laughs> so friendly? By the way, you and Von Gratz don't exactly get along. Why is that? I had him sent to prison. You see, Joachim led the student protests in 1242. A senseless and brutal revolt. People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but alas, I had to do something. So I reported him. Then I left the university and found work in the morgue, where none care about my past. Whereas Joachim, oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. <laughs> Should we drop this? This looks younger. Or should we hmm, brush him with the hairs here? No, that's How old's Von Gratz? Fifty? Sixty? Fifty-three, I believe. Why do you ask? You look a little young to have been his teacher. Not surprising. For years I've lived in the cold and dark, breathing the vapors of embalming fluids. In short, working with corpses extends one's life. Amusing, is it not? I'm saying vampire, but... Sorry. Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas, a lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. Found this morning at his home... Okay, theology, so still religious. Any titles in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties yeah. critical of the faith's doctrines. Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. Not fond of Nathaniel? Very few people are. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, sliced my back with it to the bone, because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? Right. Let's go to autopsy. 
See if he Let's sees start. the same, same, same things as your The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and. What's this? A parchment made of human skin. A message from the murderer, the name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? Yes. Even went to her estate once with. Hmm. Gotta find her now. Right. So this feels like a trap, and I also. Uh, what? <laughs> Till next time, master. Uh, so yeah, I think we will have to end this episode now, but we will try to find the killer before he kills the next one. So I will head to this point and then use fast travel to get there. But thanks you guys for watching, and I see you next time. Goodbye.